If you've watched the first five videos in my psychic development series, then you've learned how to ground and protect yourself, how to create a meditative practice, how to connect with and hear your spirit guides, you've primed your clear senses, and you've cleared and balanced your chakras. You have laid the foundation to now open your third eye. In this video, I'm going to help you understand what the third eye is, the benefits of opening the third eye, and give you two simple and easy exercises to do to help you open your third eye. I'm also going to give you a simple practice that if you do it, it will add added power to your psychic abilities. Hello, I'm Wendy Rapp, Spiritual Life Coach and Psychic Tarot Reader. On this channel, I help you as a spiritually awakened person grow and evolve on your soul's journey. And if you enjoy material like this, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Sunday. We're all born with six senses. Even though most of us grow up being told we only have five, sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. But we all have a sixth sense. That's our third eye, or the pineal gland. The pineal gland is an organ in your body that helps to regulate melatonin, the sleep-inducing hormone. It's also responsible for our circadian rhythms, our sleep-wake cycle. So if you want to induce healthy activity in the pineal gland, it's really important that you spend time every day in sunlight and also in total darkness in the evenings. It will help to keep your pineal gland healthy. And did you know the pineal gland even has retinal tissue composed of rods and cones uh, on the inner lining of the pineal gland? And it's even wired into the visual cortex of your brain. The function of the third eye in your psychic development is to allow you to access clarity, intuition, foresight. It gives you the ability to see what is beyond the physical around you. And when you open your third eye, you are developing your clairvoyance, which is one of the main psychic clairs that most psychics use. And the benefits of opening your third eye or opening up psychically are it's helping you to have access to those higher uh, energies, those higher powers, those that are beyond our own thinking, our own wisdom and understanding. So if you need to solve a problem, you're going through a difficult time, you can connect with the divine wisdom. They have a higher wisdom, they can see the bigger picture, and they'll be able to help you on your soul's journey. It will also give you the ability to be able to help others who are going through the same. And that kind of psychic information is available to all of us to be used for good, for communication, for growth, for healing, for transformation, and for happiness. So how do you open your third eye? Well, it's really easy. The first thing that you can do, and I would recommend it, is to start remembering your dreams. Keep a dream journal. And the reason for that is when you are in the dream state, you are getting out of the conscious or the logical mind. And it's much easier for you in the dream state for your angels and guides to send you messages, um, to start using dream symbols. And those symbols will sometimes come up in your um, psychic work when you're doing some kind of work or there's some kind of message you need. They, if you know what those symbols are that come in in your dreams, and that's for you to figure out. You need to start recording them, understand what they mean, ask them for guidance, but that will give you a basis of how they're going to be speaking with you when you do your psychic work. So I really, really do recommend you um, keep a journal and write down your dreams. Remember as much as you can. The more you try to remember, the easier it usually is. So if you're not remembering everything all at once or it's tough to remember your dreams, keep at it because it will become easier. And yes, the pineal gland, your third eye, is active when you're sleeping. The second way to activate your third eye is really easy. And I swear to you, it works. You go into a meditation, and in your meditation, you all you have to do is quiet the mind and do the, the steps that I told you about in how to meditate or how to quiet the mind. And when you go into that quiet mindset, put your attention and focus right in the area of your third eye, which is right in the middle of your forehead, between your brow. And when you put your attention there, see 
a ball of light the color of indigo. And just remain focused on that ball of light in front of your eyes or in, in your third eye. Just remain focused on it. Now, that ball of light may change and it may not. And that's okay. Just holding that visualization in your mind's eye will in and of itself help to activate your third eye. More than likely, what will happen is you'll either start to see that ball of light morphing and changing. Some people actually see another eye looking back at them. I've had that happen where the eye is not only looking at me, it comes closer and closer until I kind of go right into the, the pupil of the eye. It's, it was weird. Um, but if you don't see an eye looking back at you, that's okay. You may see images, you may see faces, you may see people, but you will see something. It probably will change for you. Some people, when they're holding that indigo light, that ball of indigo light, will experience a buzzing in the area of their third eye or a tingling. And again, if you don't experience that, that's okay. Everybody's different. We're all going to experience it differently. But just holding your attention on the area of the third eye, seeing the color indigo, a ball of light the color of indigo. And if you don't see that ball of light changing with your mind, make that ball become larger, make it become smaller. You can do things with your mind to try to help play with that ball of light and play with the third eye. It will help activate the third eye. And you may even get messages. You may hear messages. It may not be something that you're seeing in the third eye, but you may start hearing. Other uh, clear senses might start coming in. So whatever you are receiving, trust it. And it's really important that when you do any kind of psychic exercise, record everything you get because it will help you to see how you develop along the way. But also there may be some message that you're not seeing as a message in the time, in the moment, but a little later on you will understand the meaning of a message. So always record what you get. Um, if you would like to use some crystals to help you, there are some great crystals to help you activate the third eye. I would suggest amethyst, iolite, lapis lazuli, purple fluorite, and labradorite's a really good one. And if you do that simple exercise and do it daily, meditate daily, it doesn't have to be for hours, even if you do it for five or ten minutes a day, you will activate your psychic senses and your third eye. And don't be discouraged if you don't receive anything the first time you do it or you feel you're not receiving anything. That's okay too. Just know the intention alone of opening that third eye is going to help you get there. So it takes practice. Some people it may come very easily. Some people it may take a few times. Just don't get discouraged. Keep trying. And there's another practice you can do that will help to strengthen your psychic abilities. And that is doing your spiritual work. When you are focused on psychic development and only psychic development, it's just about activating the pineal gland. It's simply activating those psychic senses. And people who are only focused on doing that tend to stay stuck in the ego. Um, they are using their abilities usually not to be of service to others, but to appear special or powerful. And I'm sorry, being psychic does not make you special. Everybody has access to these abilities, and it's just a matter of working, working with them and strengthening them. Also, when you're only focused on psychic ability development or psychic development, you're n and you stay stuck in that ego frame of mind and don't work through the issues surrounding your ego, you're not going to receive the same quality of information that you can receive if you work on your spiritual development. Spiritual development has to do with working with the heart chakra and the crown chakra. You open your heart to understand who you are, who we all are, that we are all connected. Opening the heart chakra makes you want to be of service, under, helps you to understand that we are all one, we're all from source, and we all have that connection. Opening the crown chakra gives you access to your higher guides, your angels, and that's where we receive that quality information from. 
it takes time to open those two chakras, to work through our issues, to be able to clearly be able to hear, but it is so worth the time and attention. And when you do your spiritual development, psychic development is a natural side effect to spiritual development. And it doesn't just open the pineal gland, it opens all of your psychic senses. It helps you to open to all of your clear senses. And the quality of the information you will receive will be so much better and your, your abilities to tap in and to connect will be so much stronger. So keep that in mind. Now, I will do another video explaining that a little bit better, but for now, just focus on those two exercises I gave you, remembering your dreams and then focusing on the indigo color between your eyes. Keep a journal. It's really helpful if you do. You should see how many journals I have from back when I was opening up. It's amazing the kinds of information you'll receive. It will surprise you. It will amaze you. Um, so please start keeping a journal. And don't be afraid to share with all of us in the comment section what you've um, seen or what you experienced because I personally would love to hear it and I'm sure everyone else would be encouraged by that too. So practice those exercises because in next week's video, I'm going to give you some fun things you can do. And they're things I did back when I was opening up that were fun to do, easy to do, but that help you to open up to your psychic abilities, to strengthen what you have and discover abilities you didn't even know you had. So practice this week and you'll be ready for next week's video. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you have any questions or any comments about today's material, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I do see those comments, I do read them, and I do respond. If you are interested in getting any of the crystals that I listed, they're also below in the description box. Earth Spirit does sell them. Um, you can go to the store in Red Bank, New Jersey, or you can order online, and I have the online um, link on the screen, but it's also down in the description box. If you'd like to have a reading with me, I am available for readings by phone or in person at Earth Spirit. You can call the number that's on the screen and they will be happy to set up an appointment for you to have a reading with me. Also, if you'd like to connect with me on social media, the links are below in the description box. I hope that information was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And as always, remember you are a spark of the divine. Share your light with the world. Blessings.